Jenny Baranchev, whose team has won 12 of its last 13 games to climb to the top of the Big 12. And this is the first time since 2009 Oklahoma is the highest-ranked Big 12 team in the Associated Press poll. We are underway. Bedlam, round one for women's basketball. Take a look at Oklahoma State here. They they move the ball and create isolations or three points, and you see a great backdoor. And you see a block shot by Taylor Robertson as she bats it away from Lexi Keys. Keys closes out quickly on Robertson. This is a Maddie Williams post-up. And the pinballs into the hands of Claire Chastain, our Sooner starting lineup presented by Love Travel Stops, the heart of the highway, Tot with Yanusa Williams and Taylor Robertson and Liz Scott playing really well. She has back-to-back double-doubles on the year. Three is good from the corner. Claire Chastain knocks that one down. Shot clock plays down to 10. Robertson lobbing into Liz Scott. And that'll be a bump against Taylor Collins. Both teams, whoever may win that, may control the pace of the basketball game. But along with that ball control, okay, Oklahoma State does not turn the ball over. And a three rims out for Chastain, who made one earlier. That becomes pretty large. Cassidy the lap. Yeah. A fifth-year player replaces Taylor Collins. But Collins, the third leading rebounder in the Big 12. Maddie Williams, back cuts, lay in, and Oklahoma leads it. Boy, that follow-through with her left hand was outstanding. Lior Garzon, who's come off the bench, she's the leading three-point shooter in the Big 12 this year. But she missed that one. And Yanusa in attack mode. So a 6-0 Oklahoma run to forge a 6-3 lead. And in watching this Oklahoma State team, I love the way they make use of screeners and relocation. You can see that dive cut right there. And it creates a lay-in for Claire Chastain, who has the first two buckets for the Cowgirls tonight. Claire Chastain, she's from Shawnee Dale High School, just outside of Shawnee, Oklahoma. The Noosa posts and attacks the Estonia native, transfer from Arizona for Oklahoma State. And for Oklahoma, Skyler Van had already checked in, but we see Beatrice Culleton and Kennedy Tucker. Yeah, it, 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 it's been fun to see Culleton gain confidence over the last couple of games. And Oklahoma's coming off a game with TCU where they, uh, their whole roster got a lot of play. Bossy. Threw it. That's the old we zig when we should have zagged. Do not turn the ball over very often. This is one of the most efficient, I believe, around 12 game, which is incredibly well done. Assist to turnover ratio. Oklahoma State is second in the Big 12. Oklahoma first. There's Culleton missing. Oklahoma's missed probably four or five shots from six feet. Yeah, little pocket bounce pass. That's the type of plays that they look, Oklahoma looks for her to do. That'll be a foul on Kennedy. But the last 24 meetings, it's all tied at 12 apiece. Nevaeh Tot steals the inbound pass and goes the other way to lay it in. Defense to offense for the Sooners. Boy, Nevaeh is showing you her quickness and her anticipation to get in that passing lane and catch that on the way to a lay-in. Really playing well. Last three games, Nevaeh Todd is at 19 assists and only three turnovers. Yep. Floater a little strong from Chastain. Culleton the rebound for Oklahoma. What a, what a good rebound. Culleton getting above the crowd. Inusa. Skyler Fan. Couple of the Oklahomans on the Sooner roster. Yanusa triggers. Kennedy Tucker with a one-armed rebound, and it was with one arm because Alnatis had a hold of the other arm. Alnatis now has two, yeah. as does Taylor Collins. As Kennedy Tucker lines up fair, he should talk about rebounding. They lead the Big 12 in that category. Yeah, and, and, and they do it team-wise. They can attack you at different penetration points up the court, and it just fuels their offensive flow. This is a 6 nothing run. Osseville breaks it with a three, and that's how Oklahoma State can get right back into things. Fan trying to get the blow by, and instead we've got a whistle as Culleton hits the deck, fouled by Cassidy Delap. But right now it's just about enjoying playing because you know the record's going to fall. A good leader, a student of the game, and has the respect of her teammates. And they almost won it for her. And when you want something too much, you got to be careful. It's going to happen. But I also think, you know, the, the, the more Taylor works without the ball, the more she runs the floor hard, 
the more opportunity for it to happen will, will take place. Nice little backdoor cut there to get Milton an open shot. Ossie can't follow it. And Oklahoma State just having some struggles from the perimeter. Getting decent looks. There's a decent look for Van, and it's good. You just love when, when a player can walk into a three, and you just saw an example of that. And it's another one right there. Lior Garzon with her 46th made three of the year. Now Van posts and scores. Pretty versatile there. Garzon stripped by Tucker. Boy, Tucker has really brought the defense to a high level. Keys is fouled. She shot nearly 35% from the three line as a freshman last year. Yeah. I think there's more teams. Hey, we got to do a job here. And hit. she quiets the crowd a little bit with the two makes. And a foul off the ball. Liz Scott hits the deck and picking up the foul is Lior Garzon. Back to back double doubles for Liz Scott, as a matter of fact. And she's averaging about 11 and a half points and 11 rebounds in the last three games. And 0 for 2 on this trip. Yanusa reaches in, nearly ties up Garza. Oklahoma dropping back into a 2-3 zone right here. Trying to match up those three-point shooters without as much screening action. Chastain, a beautiful feed and the easy lay-in for Milton. Draws the Cowgirls within four. Yeah, really well-executed zone offense right there. Into the high-low, dribble penetration, draw, quick little kick. 19-13. How about this run for Oklahoma State? 19-15, I should say. It's a 7-0 run. Under 10 seconds left in the period. Maddie Williams knocked away from her. Taylor Robertson gets a crunching screen and misses the three at the first period buzzer. First time in over a decade that the Sooners had hosted. And as we said, coming into the night, Oklahoma the highest-ranked Big 12 team in the AP poll. And that's the first time since 2009 that's happened. Liz Scott back door from Matty Williams, the bucket. So 21-15, some interesting numbers. Oklahoma State hung in it by making three threes in the first quarter. Oklahoma only turned the ball over one time. Yeah. There's DeLap up high to lay it in for the Cowgirls. Well, that, that's, again, creating two-on-ones with that bounce and drive against the two-three zone that Oklahoma is now employing. The Bay of Tot, the lane wide open, but the lap kind of flew in her face and impacted the shot. Yep. It's a stat you don't see, but sometimes the influence of length on a finish can be as pronounced as shot blocking. Remember the foul trouble? Alnatis and Collins, each with two for Oklahoma State. Aggressive drive by Milton, and she picks up a foul. The foul line could be an interesting thing here, because I think... Both teams want it to, that could be a difference maker in this game. Second team all Sun Belt at Texas Arlington last year. She's from Owasso, Oklahoma, and she's the sister of the Philadelphia 76ers, Shake Milton. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how many siblings, you know, are, are both good in their own right? Great to see, and what a defensive play by Milton the other way, blocking Yanusa. But Liz Scott, as Robertson picked it up and found her, they're going to they're do all the little things that they can. This this is Bedlam at its finest. I see a step back three, hits it, and it's a one point game. That's the fourth made three for Oklahoma State tonight. And a turnover. DeLapp with a chance to give the Cowgirls the lead. She does. Yes. A steal and a bucket. And it's 24-23, Oklahoma State. DeLapp doing a good job right there, positioning that denial defense, creating deflection into the layup at the other end. Liz Scott had it poked away by Ossie. Scott just putting it on the floor. Bucket and a foul for Liz Scott. Take a look right here. See, she feels that. But I, what I love is that concentration and that visual preparation she had to watch the ball go in the basket. That's two fouls on Cassidy DeLapp. So she joins Taylor Collins. Oklahoma going back to more player-to-player -player defense here in the half court. And Todd nearly took it away. There's a foul underneath. 
So back to the line goes Milton. She was on a team at UT Arlington that won the Sun Belt Tournament, went to the NCAA Tournament last year. Family losing his mother earlier this week. He had to miss the game, in fact, between Oklahoma State and Iowa State this week. And we wish them all the best. Yeah, Jody Steyer has did a, been a long-time great assistant for Bill. Help, help take that. But I'm sure Bill's presence is what, with the, right with that team. I like the idea. You, you, you know, Maddie's posted up a lot, but that dribble drive into that area, you can see how effective she can be. The order is on for three, and she rinsed it out of the deep corner. It's just good offense by the Cowgirls. I mean, penetrate, pitch, relocation. She leads the Big 12 in three-point shooting. Look at Maddie changing speeds here. Now, now she went, laid one in with the left hand. She's showing you she's got the ability to lay one in with the right hand. She has so many different ways to score. Here's the post up. And it's blocked, but a foul against Chastain. Shoots threes. To put it on the floor and, and get to the rim just about any time she wants, she can get a shot off. It's just, wow, there's a lot of different things you got to guard in her game. And that's why she's a 2,000-point scorer. And we're far enough along in the season. We know who we are. And they know what they want to do. And now it's a battle of wills as to who's going to find more opportunity to bring out their strengths. He's got a screen. Foul line jumper, no. But they attacked counterattacking. Yanusa with a back cut and a lay in. What a great shot. And, and, and obviously, we saw the back cut, but the ability to read that and deliver the ball to a finish. Four minutes left, opening half, three points sooner lead. Jackson posting on Culleton and scoring to make it a one-point game. Yeah, good position on the block. And the transition the other way is Kennedy Tucker runs the floor. But but right now, the separation in the game might be attributed to paint points for Oklahoma. There's Jackson. Forces her way to the bucket and in. Well, she was not going to be denied. Jackson, just a great job of footwork on that finish. Yanusa triggers. She hits a corner three. It's just a celebration to see her playing at this level in, in, in what, her sixth year now here at Oklahoma? Ten to shoot for the Cowgirls. Keys got cut off. She'll trigger a three, and it's good from up top. I tell you, that step back right there, you can see she has really worked to develop that. She's done that twice in this game very effectively. Beautiful feed by Yanusa. She finds Culleton for the lay-in. Back and forth we go. Well, Yanusa just keeps coming at you, keeps coming at you, whether she's got the ball or not. You know, saying, well, let's check that. Instead, it's a wide-open Aussie three. No, they, they arrive at it a little differently than Oklahoma, but they are equally adept. At nope. using it. That's an illegal screen. You got an even game with, with, with 110 to go. You know, this, this has been everything we thought it would be. And your leading scorer, Alnatis, who's averaging 14 a game in conference play, hasn't scored. Asi fouled on a three point try by Yanusa. And so three free throws. The thing that I'm very proud of is that even through a, a few of my moments, one year at Arizona last year, and she's coming off a good game, had 15, a career high of this Big 12 schedule. Here you got Oklahoma State, and that what a great offensive rebound by Jackson right there. Jackson a force to be reckoned with. The rebound in the bucket, three-point Oklahoma State lead. Maddie Williams fouled. That exactly shows you, I think, the, the bedlam aspect of this game. The people that step up are not always your stars. It might be the players coming off the bench, and, and we've seen an example of that with the Cowboys. Kennedy Tucker rebounds, but can't get it to land. And a two-point lead for Oklahoma State. About eight seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock to close out this opening half. Keys whips this to the deep corner. Aussie hits another three from the corner, her third of the night. Yeah, a great job of screening the backside. That was a created play for a three. 
And and th this is a good screening Oklahoma State team, and you saw an example of that creating that three right there. Patty Williams posting, but missing over the top and charging out of the pack. Milton with a chance. She got it away and hit it at the horn. I know they'll check it, but it certainly looked good from our vantage. But it's got to start with their ability to defend, better rebounding. Then the flow will create offensively they can play from. Naomi Olnatis did not score in the first half as Collins goes to work, and that creeps over the front of the rim, and she has her first bucket of the night. Yeah, and, and, and Collins, you can see what she can do right there. Yanusa shot blocked by Taylor Collins. Here comes Milton, who hit the three to close the half. Aussie. But that's a high-skilled floater right there. She has 13 tonight. Maddie Williams going to work. Foul. And that's going to be three on Collins. So Maddie Williams lines up a pair. And they didn't get Taylor Collins subbed out there in between free throws. Now they will get her out. Aussie backs down. Ten to shoot. Aussie trying to work around Yanusa. And with five left, Chastain's got to get one up. It's short. Now, I think that's an example of what Oklahoma's got to do defensively to create the way that they truly want to play this game. Taylor Robertson has only one shot attempt in this game. There's a three that she missed. The Noosa bails Oklahoma out. Ten on the shot clock. They clear out for Maddie Williams, and she goes to work. There's an example. What do you do in a low shot clock? Spread the floor, put the ball in the middle with Maddie Williams, and you get a pretty good result. That goes out of bounds off of Lexi Keys. That's just poetry in motion, Chad, <laughs> right there. Poetry in motion. Back cut for Yanusa, and she scores. Here come the Sooners. Our girls trying to stay patient in the half court. Chastain puts it on the deck. Liz Scott blocked it. They are really on an aggressive nature. Transfer from UT Arlington. Four years at UTA. You know, they're they're tough-minded, and you can see that battle going on here in the third quarter. Maddie Williams gets a return pass and scores again. Boy, just a great job of that little extra spin. You can see the hand turn on that to create a a nice little kiss off the backboard. Lexi Keys, no for three. And a long rebound to Taylor Robertson. Robertson trying to work in on Aussie to the bucket, count it, and a foul. Yeah, especially with, with the wave of the, the present day transfers and everything. Taylor Robertson, the old fashioned three point play, still without a made three point basket. And that's an Oklahoma State turnover. They don't turn it over very much. But I think it's starting at what they're doing defensively and what they're doing rebounding-wise. Maddie Williams posting hard. Maddie Williams will be at the free throw line. And Dan, we were just talking during the break. The foul line has been and is continuing to be a big story in this game. You can see them. The Sooners have gone to their All-American. This is a 7-0 run for Oklahoma. Aussie, beautiful feed. The double clutch, no, for Trinity Jackson, but she picks up a foul against Beatrice Culleton. Trinity Jackson. Yeah, she has stepped up big. She has, has been very timely. And there's that rebounding. It's the lap on the offensive glass with the conversion. Boy, a great little cross screen there that she was able to get to the weak side and with a stick back. A play on a free throw. Maddie Williams, guarded by DeLapp. He's kind of probing the top and dropping it. 19 for Maddie Williams. Two-point game. Step back three by Aussie. Banks it home. Little help with the backboard there, but still very effective. Taylor Robertson still without a made three tonight. And the rebound by Jackson. She's fouled.
Let's see, Keys a step back three. That one's good. Back to back threes by Aussie and Keys. And the Cowgirls back up to where they led at halftime. Eight. Yeah, and, and those are contested threes. Those are just good, strong, offensive basketball finishes. 10 of 22 from three point range tonight. Oklahoma State, the top three point shooting team in the Big 12, coming in. Maddie Williams a catch and shoot three, and she's just doing it all. Yeah. This is a great example of her leading the way here in the third quarter. 22 for Maddie Williams. Aussie hits another. No answer for wow. Amagret Aussie. She has just continued to deliver for the Cowgirls. Tucker, offensive foul. And there's the impact. Largest lead for the Cowgirls has been 12. And that's a hold against Kennedy Tucker. Three-point weapon to J.C. Hoyt. Now, she had made 16 threes all season long coming into tonight, and she's made six in this game. You get a supporting player, so to speak, step up and kind of show you what they're all about. A three by Jones is good. You couple that with what they've done with the three offensively, and that's a big separation factor. The laps knocked away by Maddie Williams. Yanusa barreling toward the bucket. She scores, and a foul on Garzon. You can see that three right there by Anusa. Just, just a wonderful. There's a deflection now in transition. Now, this is not an easy finish for her. But again, great concentration, ability to separate the ball, finish to the glass. For her Sooner career, the 14th player in Oklahoma history to do so. And her three-point play has the Sooners back within four. And this is an important close to the third quarter, I think, in a lot of ways. Aussie's had the ball in her hands a bunch. There goes Keys, blocked by Yanusa, and a foul call from outside. Keys in the line, shooting two. Lexi Keys misses the first. Tahlequah, Oklahoma, Sequoia High School there. 69-64 Cowgirls, under a minute left here in the third. Band flashes free. Liz Scott back up and in. Good strong finish for Liz Scott right there. Being able to get on the weak side glass. Oklahoma in a stop and score situation. Keys a step back three. Another one is down. Wow. That's the third for Keys tonight. Back to a six point game. Shot clock is off. And that ball touched last by Garzon. The three ball for Oklahoma State tonight. <laughs> 13 of 26. Taylor Robertson still without a made three in this game. Five away from the all-time mark. Ten seconds left here in the third. And a foul against Garzon holding Taylor Robertson. She will get two free throws. Right. Fourth quarter often is the tale of the pit. <laughs> it tells the story. Oklahoma have a chance to be four down if they can defend with six seconds to go. Robertson got them both. Perfect at the line tonight. Three for three. On a grad Aussie. Three on the way. No to close out the third. Is Bedlam going to break out? This game's going to be very much about the fourth quarter play of both teams. Skyler Van misses to start the fourth, and Talon Collins, playing with three fouls, is in the game. You also have Naomi Alnatis, who has three fouls and hasn't scored. She's averaging 14 a game and has had three 20-point games in Big 12 play. Doesn't have a point, and Oklahoma State leads by four. Attacking goes Chastain. Claire Chastain for a pair. 65% free throw shooter. Eight points tonight. Maddie Williams secures that rebound. And that's taken. Alnatas just circled over and took it. The other way, she converts for her first field goal of the night. Yeah. 
A steal in the bucket for Olnatis. Liz Scott tries to answer against Collins. Liz Scott strokes home the first free throw. Ten points, five rebounds for Liz Scott, and she makes them both. Matty Williams might have gotten a piece of that offering by Chastain. A run through for Keys in the passing lane. She'll try to convert it. And she does. This team can defend, too. Yeah, two key turnovers. I'm going to call a held ball. And I think they forgot to flip the possession arrow, they Dan, and, at and the start that, of the quarter. And they noticed that's a good job of officiating. Yeah, they, they were able to get it correct. So it is Oklahoma State ball. They force another turnover. It's 11 Oklahoma turnovers in for DeLapp, but stolen. Liz Scott just took it. Nevaeh Todd a three. Got it. Top team in the Big 12 to this point. Alnatis leans in and misses. Liz Scott runs the floor, rejected, sent away by Chastain. A reset for Yanusa. She dropped it home. One point game. Chastain scores. Off an offensive rebound. On a steps in and walks into that three. Chastain converts the old-fashioned three-point play. Matty Williams fires. Good look. Third rebound tonight for Chastain. It was a four-point game coming into the fourth quarter. It's still a four-point game as Alnatis attacks and rims one home. Or a tough finish, too. Able to get that outside the lane. Robertson got it, her first of the night. She's four away from the all-time record. That's 60 straight games with at least one made three. That's probably the first legitimate look she's had. Three to shoot, and Tot gets a steal. She glides the other way and scores. Good job. Give, give Kennedy credit for staying in the play and Nevaeh getting in the passing lane. Alnatis can't answer. Look at Jackson back up and to the foul line. What a difference maker. <laughs> Missed them both. And Liz Scott with a physical rebound. Very physical rebound. T-Rob with the ball. Strong on that one. That might have blown the roof off the building if she made that. <laughs> Todd out oh. the passing lane and deflects that one off of Lexi with 4.52 to go. Sooners trying to work it to Maddie Williams. An Oklahoma lead. Maddie able to get the ball again at the elbow where they've used it so much in the second half and a great finish. It's the first time Oklahoma has led since it was 39-36. Yanusa and Skyler Van have four for the Sooners. Collins and Milton four for the Cowgirls, but there are too numerous to mention. Neither team has backed down. No. That's what's made it so great. No. Back on top, go to Cowgirls. Sooners back to their original starting lineup. Newsom nearly popped free underneath. Shot clock plays to 10 as Van triggers. And she drills a three. Big time three by Skyler stepping up. Milton plays off a Collins screen. All not a shake spree. That ball hit the deck and a foul inside. Is that five on Taylor Collins? Good grief. That's just wrong place, wrong time all night. I don't know if I've seen anything like that. No. She played 
Five minutes, minutes, maybe. Five, five, five minutes. fouls. Yeah. Two point Oklahoma lead. In goes Maddie Williams for the bucket. Garzon, deep corner, no. And Taylor Robertson wins the foot race yeah. for the rebound. Van attacks, fouled, and these are players that have a little presence about them. You know, they've been on successful teams, they've had successful careers. Tyler Van drops home the first of the pair. A mini 6 nothing run for Oklahoma in progress. Garzon with a three. And Van claims it. Matty Williams double team. Extra pass to Robertson. Got it. Beautiful play. The Van taught. That, that ball was barely in her hands, and she got it to T-Rob. Aussie's off the mark. Big rebound by Milton. She scores in a foul. But Taylor Robertson has found a way to knock down two. Under a minute left. Five-point shooter lead. Maddie Williams can't work free. Oklahoma's got to get a shot away. Yanusa cannot do it. The possession arrow favors Oklahoma. He's couldn't get free for a three. Aussie will. That one's off the mark. I'll not us the rebound. And Aussie with another. That one is good. That's her seventh of the game. And it's a two-point game. Boy, she has had an outstanding game today. Timely threes time and time again. Career-high 26 and a career-high seven made threes. Eight points for Tot tonight. She's made her only three-point try. In and out, though. And that goes out of bounds. Maddie Williams can the test. Probably when the ball comes in, there's going to be a foul almost instantly. It is Robertson who catches the inbound pass, but they don't foul her, and now Keys does. These will be free throw attempts 28 and 29 for Oklahoma on the night. And a little defense for offense substitution. Kennedy Tucker back in. Nevaeh Top is out. Robertson strokes home another. You know, a mark of a really good player with presence is to find their game in the second half. Five-point lead. Cowgirls need a shot in a hurry. Aussie can't get free from Kennedy Tucker. That's why they subbed her in. Alnadis jumped into Yanusa and a foul call against Yanusa. 5.4 seconds left. It's still very much a ball game. Very much. First one is good. You know, you don't see a lot of timeouts for Oklahoma, but she'll probably make advantage of the advancement rule here. And Alnadis got them all. Nope. Two-point game, no timeout, inbound to Robertson, and quickly fouled with 3.5 left. And Oklahoma's going to be over 30 free throws on the Knights after this trip to the line. You're going to see Oklahoma State advance the ball. And they can do it by not calling the timeout. Lexi Keys offers a three, no good, and Oklahoma has rallied.